What I'm going to do today is we're going to go over the four circuits of how a carburetor works. Keep watching. When, when the fuel comes in, it comes in here, and when the, when the fuel level gets low, it drops the metering valve down and the fuel passes by and comes in to the carburetor bowl, this chamber down here. And as the fuel level increases, it eventually goes up and this sets into the seat and shuts the fuel off. Right here is a vent that kind of goes through the carburetor. Don't actually go in front of the carburetor. It goes around to the side. And this is where, right here, is where air comes in. And it comes down here. Everything. And so the air can escape when the carburetor is filling full of gas, when that bowl is. And this is where atmospheric pressure can, this can escape. And this, has, this is a breather. And usually they have like a screen or something right about here, so nothing can block that in there. And, that, and that's part one of the circuit. Bringing the fuel in, whether your fuel pump would be over here, it's going to bring the fuel in and fill the, the bowl up. The next thing is when you go to, when you start your engine, or when you turn the engine over, and the engine's right here, it creates, when that piston goes up the cylinder, it creates a low pressure or a vacuum. And the minute that it goes into vacuum, our 14.7 pounds of atmospheric pressure pushes down here and fuel comes through the high speed jet, goes up the emulsion tube, goes through the intermediate orifice, it goes into the mixing chamber here, and it gets drawn out through here, and it goes down out right past the idle needle, and it goes into the carburetor. But at the same time that's doing that, because this is low pressure, remember this is high pressure, we've got air coming through the throat of the carburetor, and it's also going up both of these intermediate ports, mixing here with all this gas, and it goes in as a mixture. There's also a small hole in this throttle valve that lets the air in. So between these two and everything, you get about a 12 to 1 fuel ratio, 12, point, 12 parts air, 1 part fuel, and that is what your engine needs over here to operate. And at this particular time, this is your engine would be idling. When you start to rev up the engine, the throttle valve takes a new position like that. And when it does that, it changes this orifice on the intermediate orifice and puts it on the low side. So no longer is air coming out there. And the fuel is coming out here and through here. And of course, a little bit of air is getting past, you know, the, the here on both sides. I might have drew it a little long, but here it's getting past both sides. So that changed it. This is on the low pressure side now. Now let's give it some more throttle. So we're going to give it some more throttle, and we're going to put the, or the throttle valve just like that. And what that done is that changed and put this one on the low pressure side. So not only now, you got the fuel coming up the emulsion tube through the intermediate orifice. You're coming down out of both of these ports. So we got fuel coming out of this port this port and out of the idle speed port and there's actually a little then air is getting mixed in with this off some some models have this orifice is open so it can draw some air through there and that's the kind of carburetor I got on my 30 horse Evan route but 
as the it keeps going through there. So this is really kind of like a, a, a an air fuel mixture coming in here, and it all mixes in here, and uh, and it both and it comes out. So you got air and fuel mix. Like I said, we're trying to achieve at all speeds is that 12 to 1 mixture. So. You're following me so far. We're probably about, we're not quite half throttle. So then now, we're going to go ahead and rev this engine up some more. Don't do like I did. Somebody better be watching where we're going. Okay, so we're going to rev this engine up some more. When we've done that, We've got our, our uh, air coming in, it's going this way, and it's going this way, and we've got the uh, fuel, it's, it's coming down through here, and now that we have done that, we've got the fuel going up the emulsion tube here, and it goes all the way up through the carburetor and into there, and it's running the top. Now, we're going to start running fuel up the nozzle, because we've idled up, so you're going to have fuel going up through here, and going that way. Now the Venturi effect is coming in where the air is picking up speed going up through here and as it crosses over top this nozzle it's drawing the fuel up and along with this it's got holes in it here so you know that it can mix air in as it's drawing it to help lean that mixture out so it's not so rich and as that goes up through there we start pulling right there. So now we got all three. We've got a low pressure situation going over the Venturi here. We've got our low pressure going through the intermediate orifice and down through the mixing chamber. And we're still drawing fuel out through the idle valve there. And so now, now let's go ahead and give a wide open throttle and see what happens. Okay, now we're darn wide open. And we're we're moving pretty darn good. So a wide open throttle, about 5,000 RPM. The, the nozzle well here is filled with, with maximum capacity. The nozzle well vent and all this is at maximum capacity. And it cannot vent, it cannot get any more air in this way. And it cannot, in, it cannot increase the flow any more this way. It's everything is drawing at maximum capacity. The additional pressure drop in here draws drops the pressure here then even more. And once that pressure is dropped, you pick up a large increase in fuel flow coming up out of here. And even on the rest of them, you've got the maximum pressure going through. And it creates a slightly richer uh, fuel mixture as it goes by. And that's what creates the wide open throttle. And that's when the high speed orifice at the bottom here is maxed out. And that's where that would take and um, determine how much fuel at wide open throttle can actually go through. Fuel can come through the emulsion tube and up the uh, nozzle. Well, I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope it helped anybody. So now you can see when you're working on your carburetor, if you've got an idle issue, you know it's here. If you've got an intermediate speed issue, you know it's here. And, you know, or, you know, when people, a lot of people say, you know, my boat don't want to idle. Well, you see the process now. It starts right at the bottom of the bowl, goes through the high speed orifice, up the emulsion tube, comes right into here, goes into a mixing chamber. And at that time, remember, this is all low, so low pressure goes in here, and it mixes air and, and fuel, and it comes out here. And if you can't idle, you don't have the proper mixture ratio on there, so, you, and you know it's got to be that. Anyhow, if you like the content, if I taught you anything at all today, or if this helped you in any way, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, stay safe on the water and keep watching.